Hey everybody, welcome back. I thought I would show you guys something pretty neat today that is a new item from Deborah Muller. Um, it is her Menagerie Watercolor Coloring Book. So this item is only available through her Etsy store. It is currently sold out, but she is restocking for next week. So today is Saturday, March 23rd third March 23rd and as of this time it is sold out but she is I just spoke to her today and she is restocking for next week so um, that's why I'm making a video for it so that you guys can see but it's really neat it's an, uh, kind of an oversized coloring book spiral bound on watercolor heavy paper and watercolor paints are included that's what's so awesome about this so when I started to open it it just came today and when I was planning to do a video on it anyways and when it came and I saw how beautiful the presentation was I was like okay hold up we're gonna unbox it together <laughs> because I, I knew I would never be able to put it back together the way that it it looked so pretty so it comes in this box she put a little butterfly sticker on it and let me open it here so here it is. I did tear the thank you uh, sticker part off of it just because I was I wanted to open it. And then like I said, once I saw how beautiful the presentation was, I was like, okay, we're going to just uh, definitely save this to do on camera together. So this is uh, a card in here. It's Chubby Mermaid Watercolors. Just kind of a uh, nice little card there. You can uh, do whatever you want to with that. And then here is a paper, how to use watercolors, and it's got all of her tips on it. Um, tells you what you'll need, brushes, water jar, um, how to activate the water, you know, gives you some tips about how to use watercolors, you know, things like that. So that's really neat to have, especially for somebody like me who is pretty much a beginner with all paints. And then we get into the book itself. So right away I can see that these are the watercolors. So these look like mini itty bitty pans, as you can see. And she has glued them onto a piece of cardstock. So we'll get those out in just a second and we will look at those. And then here is our book. Just when I saw how pretty it was, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I just knew that I would have to tear it all apart to look at it. So I just figured we would do it together. But there's a really pretty card. Thank you, XO Deborah, with this lovely green ribbon. There is some different like little confettis in here. And then there's a beautiful sticker. So we're going to take this out. Lift it up there. I'm going to take this out, and then she's got some little shreds here in the bottom to keep the uh, box or the book secure. So I'm going to remove this, set it over. And replace it with the book. So we're opening, taking the paper. The book is wrapped in like a um, kind of a heavy weight paper here and it's got this beautiful sage green ribbon on it that I don't know if I can untie. So we're just going to try to slip it off. So hold on just a second. I'm going to do my best to take it off without cutting it. I was able to, so that's salvageable. Hooray for that. And then I'll take it out of the paper and then we can flip through. So it is tape shut pretty good. Sorry for the noise. I know some people don't like that. The back of it, this is the back of it. She always has this glittery cardboard backing on like all of her books and mini books that come with like her special, special books. I found some more butterflies here. I'm gonna move this paper out of the way. But yeah, if you ever get any of her 
um, box sets like the Halloween, Christmas, Fantasy, Mermaid, anything like that. They all, all the, the Spiral Bound books have that. And so you can see that it's Spiral Bound at the top. So we're going to flip it over. And here is the cover. And I think I'm going to have to actually, let's see, we're going to have to bring this up just a little bit. There we go. So you can see the book. So this is the cover Menagerie Watercolor Coloring Book from Deborah Muller. And I think she said she used um, watercolors, paints, and um, markers, I think, on this. So let me, I'm going to get in my chair. I was standing up, but um, I'm going to get in my chair. So let's look at the paints first. So here are the paints that come with the set. We will open them up. If you've never had any of Deborah's watercolor paints before, it's so nice that these are included um, because some people might want to try the, the book, but they don't have any uh, paints. And this way your paints are already included. I'm having trouble getting it out of the wrapper here. I might have to cut that. Nope, I got it. I got it. Here we go. And here's another butterfly. <laughs> so, and this has some weight to it. So you can see there are a variety of shades here. Now, the reason why like that one looks is because it a little bit of it stuck to the um, packaging there. So that's why that doesn't have a smooth of a top as the other ones do but you can see there's like a variety of finishes here um looks like we've got a dark brown and kind of a mahogany then there's a lighter brown we have a sparkly or shimmery black some gold look at this holographic silver very neat there's a purple red this really pink sparkly one so yeah so the ones like this just a little bit stuck to the uh, the top of that paper or the plastic that it was in. So we're actually going to try these out. But at first, I'm going to flip through the book for you really quick, and we'll take a look at all the um, pictures inside. This is so exciting! <laughs> look how beautiful! Look how beautiful! A menagerie, a coloring book by Deborah Muller. A collection of 24 illustrations ready for you to express your creativity through coloring and painting. This book is made with 140-pound Canson paper and is suitable for pens, pencils, markers, and paint. Enjoy and most of all, have fun. It's got Deborah Muller's copyright on it. Here we have a swatch uh, for your paints that's really neat too really really neat and then we're getting i just want to make sure that as much as these illustrations are, are in frame as can be so i got a little bit of paint on my hand there but oh my gosh this is so heavy the paper is so thick you guys oh my goodness okay so yeah so lightly grayscaled here. I just keep thinking that there's more pages because it's so thick. A unicorn. There's a bird. can't get over how thick and heavy this paper is so this is going to be really exciting so yep so these will be restocked next week and if you have purchased this book or you are going to purchase this book and you're interested in these types of like things from Deborah you definitely have to give her some feedback and let her know so that she knows what um, we want like I said this is an Etsy exclusive this is not available on her Amazon um, but one thing that I think is great about Deborah is she is always coming up with new things for her fans so that we don't get bored. There's always something, a new type of book, a, a new box set, 
you know, uh, miniatures. She's got lots of mini sets in her Etsy shop. Um, just all kinds of stuff. You know, always coming up with something different. I believe this is the cover illustration. Oh, that's really pretty too. I didn't realize there was going to be a swatch page, so we'll definitely have to uh, do that. I was just going to start painting on one of the pages, but we'll do a swatch page. Oh, here's a dragon for all the dragon lovers. They're so lovely. And I believe this is the last one, and this just has her social media information, email, and stuff like that. Okay, so let's go back to that swatch page. And we're just going to swatch out a few of them. I probably won't do all of them. Now, just so you know, I am using really cheap paint brushes right now. <laughs> Because I don't paint. Paint's not my main thing. So I just have some Dollar Tree paint brushes and I've pulled one out. And I'm going to grab my card here. So some of these have like you'll see some sequins like this one has some sequins on it. That's like what I in the makeup world we would call overspray. So we know that underneath there there's it's not going to be that as those confetti type glitters all the way down. But um Let's just start swatching. So I'm gonna get some water on my brush here. I hope I'm in frame. And uh, I got my paper towel handy. And I'm just gonna put some water here. Let that sit. I'm gonna activate that a little bit. And then maybe we'll put some on like this pretty pink here. My thing is I always use too much water. It's just something that I do. So I'm going to no, cut this. This brush is really cheap. <laughs> so I'm going to move this over. You guys can see though. I always, I'm just not that good with paint. Paint is not my thing. Um, but I, I guess I could learn, right? So that's that brown. Let's try the other. Actually, I know I did the pink, but let's put some water on this like mahogany type shade. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Hope you can see here. All right. I do not recommend these Crafter Square art brushes six piece. They're terrible. They're scratchy and crazy. Look how pretty these are. I'm going to go back to that first one and see if I can make it a little bit more saturated. There we go. Yeah. Very, very nice. Alright, let's try this later brown. Let's let some water sit on that for a bit. These are so exciting. I love being able to see these swatches. So this is kind of like a... I feel like I got too much water there. This one is kind of like a tan color. Very light. How fun is this? Let's see what happens with this um, black one here that has the sparkly sequins in it. Because we know those are going to come off once we use them. So you can see there they are. And they actually have come off on my paper, those little confettis or whatever. All right, let's do, let's activate this like coppery gold here. Oh my gosh. 
so pretty. I'm going to turn this sideways. And these are glued down really good, so they're not going to move. Look at that, you guys. <gasps> so pretty and shiny. Oh, my goodness. And there is a lot of paint here. So these pans look tiny, but that is a lot of paint, you guys. I mean, there is a lot of paint in there. I'm going to activate this, like, holographic silver one next, making sure everything's still in frame there for you. Oh, my gosh, this is so sparkly. I hope... It's coming up in my lighting. How sparkly this one is. And this one, the glitters are going all the way through. They're not on the top. All right. Let's activate this purple one. Let that sit for a minute. I just, oh my gosh, I really hope you can see how shimmery these are. Okay, so let's try this purple. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit more on this pink and let that sit for a minute. Sleep. She's been napping a lot today. All right, we'll do this. I'm gonna flip these over so you can see. We're gonna do. We're gonna start with this pale pink now. We'll activate that. Oh, it's like a silvery. See, look at. There's already like this brush is shedding and everything. Do not purchase these. Well, I shouldn't say don't purchase them. You could, you know, use them for whatever you want to. But uh, I don't think they'd be good for, like, serious painting or anything. You know. Oops. Hit my tripod there. All right, we're going to try this blue. Very nice. I think I have too much water here. I'm just not like a paint expert by any means. My water is so glittery. Okay, we're gonna get this turquoise activated here. We'll try that one next. Got too much water. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that one is. Very nice. Now we'll do this lime green. I think I got too much water on that one also. I'm just checking my time here to make sure. That's pretty. I keep saying that about all of them. That's pretty. That's pretty. Nice. Alright, I got three left. I'm going to turn this around here. I don't, I don't want my paper to fall, but I want it to be in frame. Here's purple next.
And then we'll do the yellow, and then there's like an orange. So you've got plenty of shades here to, uh, you know, work in this book and just make it beautiful. Beautiful. But these crafter square brushes are leaving something to be desired. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty yellow. That's nice. And the last one is this orange. Orange, you glad we're swatching these? <laughs> okay, just one more, and I'm gonna let that activate for just a second. So pretty. This is so much fun. Oh my goodness. All right. So there we have all of the pages or pages, all of the paints that were on this card. So you're getting 15 paints and you can see they're, you know, they're decent size. So I don't, I don't even know if they're like an eighth of a pan, maybe a 16th of a pan. I don't know. I would, I don't know pan sizes or anything like that. That's not my, not my thing. I don't know. And then, um, Deborah Miller has really nice paints on her Etsy store anyways for sale all the time. So this is like one of the sets. I don't know if this one is still available. I've had this one. Oops, let me get the, the, uh, styrofoam out. I've had this one for a while and you can see I didn't use it. I haven't used it yet. I'm so I'm sorely lacking uh, but I need to use it because look at those gorgeous gorgeous. And then this is another one that I have that I haven't used yet. This one was called Faces. I don't know what the other one was called but this one is like more neutral tones um, kind of like skin type tones there. And then these are two that came in some of the boxes. So this was the, they came with the Halloween box. There's like a purple and a fluorescent, purple and a fluorescent yellow. And then this one must have come with like the fan, a fantasy box. No. I, well, maybe. I don't remember. To be honest with you, I don't remember. But, and these look like they're the same size as the ones that are on the card there. So really nice quality paints. Um, I don't know. This is just really, really exciting to me. I don't want to close the lid, the, the cover of the book if they're not dry yet, but I don't know if you guys can, I know there's like a shadow if I, if I, can you see? There we go. Let's move this. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Maybe you can see how shimmery. They are those metallic ones. Just gorgeous. Lovely, lovely, lovely paints. So those are the paints that come with the book there. I guess you can't see all of the uh all of them, but you know, that's the ones that come with it. And then this is the menagerie watercoloring color watercolor coloring book so really really pretty really exciting and like i said these uh this is out of stock at the moment on her etsy but she is planning to restock next week so definitely look for that i will link her etsy shop in the description section below as well as a link to our Facebook group. When I say our Facebook group, I don't mean ours. I mean hers. <laughs> I guess because I've been a moderator and worked in the group for so many years that I feel like it's our group. <laughs> it's her group. It's her group. Um, but yeah, just really, uh, that's how she announced this um, book was in the Facebook group. And then, um, you know, it sold out really quickly. I think within a day it was sold out. So, um, and she's always trying new things. So if you're really interested in these types of things, you have to let her know, you know, just so that she is able to, uh, make everybody happy, you know, as best as she can. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm really excited to work in this book. I mean, I just think it's going to be a super, super fun. I'm trying to be careful because I don't think those are all the way dry yet, but something for everybody. I don't ever fancy myself a painter, so this is really fun to have, uh, 
you know, just something, I keep turning it open to the same pages, something different, something new, something exciting to challenge ourselves all the time, right? Really exciting. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Question or comment below. I will get back with you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.